Hello, it's me, Super Okuma. For those of you who don't know me, I was pretty much the best player in France for most of Tekken 7. And I qualified for four Tekken World Tour Finals. But now, it's time for Tekken 8. I need a new character. And if you're here, you might need a new character too. And I picked Lee because he used to be my main back in Tekken Tag 2. Didn't really like him in 7. Didn't really vibe with the changes. But now, in Tekken 8, he seems amazing. I'm back in love with my main. And I'm here to teach you the basics. But before we start, be sure to subscribe to Dash Fight for more character guides and check out their website for all things FGC. Alright, so what does Lee do actually? He is a counter it based character, right? Which means he excels at cannons. They're very strong cannons. He has a 10 frame cannon of 223, an 11 frame cannon launcher with a high kick. He even has lows, the high crush, and a Quick cannon launchers. Homing cannon launchers. I didn't do the combo there, but just trust me. Back four, so keep out cannon launchers. From decent range. Marvelous, exactly. Very good. So, cannon hits are the name of the game with this character. But what sets him apart from other cannon characters? That is the execution required to get the most out of Lee. Right, that's what he does. He has a lot of these just frames, right? You just do 444, for example. So you have three kicks. 44 four, just frame four. Gives you a heat engager. If you want to just do a 10 frame punish, you can do 124. Or you can do just frame 124, which is harder. And if you're if you're really good, you can do acid rain, which is like 40 something for a 10 frame punish. Right? So high execution, high reward counter it character that's lee let's go over his best buttons let's start off with classic tekken button down forward one. all right your go-to mid check it is minus one on block that is the best a down forward one can be and it being minus one on a character with a fast counter hits like two two three which is again one of his best buttons is very good he also ha still has an 11 frame magic four again so after down forward one if they want to mid check you back which usually mid checks come out at 13 they're gonna eat a can of it so they have to really think about it now why would they want to mid check you that is because you have a few high crushing options you have down free which is also a can of launcher down free goes under jabs if they jab after your down forward one you do down free you go under you can also do a full crouch mix ups because you have a slide and you have pretty good mids to mix the slide up with so that can be very scary for your opponent they want to mid check you because you spend a lot of time in crouch and at the same time they know how risky that is now i was talking about the slide slide is one of his best buttons and there's three ways to input it now you can either do crouch down forward down down forward three plus four if you do it fast enough it becomes a just frame that's just extra damage though and you can also misstep which is forward neutral to do this little sway if you just press three plus four after the sway so forward neutral three plus four you get the slide now why is that so good because the slide hits from about full screen which is ridiculous he is a threat even from this range like okay got the low from this range what's the mid ff3 is the mid it is a heat engager and it's the kind of heat engager that gives a full combo on heat dash right so even from range he is quite scary because he has buttons he can throw out ff3 you know you can it's steppable but it's all it's all about timing a move being steppable doesn't mean it's going to be stepped they can step the slide a little bit but I mean, it's it's got it's got more tracking than you would think, and also the slide has to be mentioned. It is minus fifteen on block. Let me do this right. There, minus fifteen. But from range, not that range, further away, it can be even there minus ten. I've seen it be minus nine. Right? So if you use it as a ranged tool, it'll become safer and it is a great low poke. Now, what is another one of his best moves? Back four. That is the move he's probably the most famous for. 
back four, Kano launches. It knocks down on Crouch, giving you a guaranteed low. And the range is very good, right? And the combo is pretty easy to get, even if you go into Hitman, which makes it more evasive because he goes back when doing Hitman. It's very good. It is very, very good. So, best character tools, quick summary, Magic 4, 2-2-3, two, two, back 4. Do a lot of slides. It can be risky, but you got to learn these ranges. And he has a great down forward one. Now, does he have good punishment, you may ask? Yes. He had the best 10 frame punish in the game uh, besides Akuma in Tekken 7 which was acid rain can i get it oh i got it first try i i messed that up a lot i still need a lot of practice that does like 40 something damage gives you okay okay and yeah it speaks for itself i like his new 11 frame punish which is 444 because i like just going into heat personally i've been playing you know a lot of the demos i've had a lot of opportunities to play the game there's still a lot of theories about the best ways to use heat but right now i'm thinking if you can get heat just get it not for a burst though save the burst for the right time but if you have an opportunity to punish and get in heat you shouldn't really be thinking of i want to punish with a move that won't force me into heat because i want to save it for late just go in a heat just go in a heat just win the game just steamroll use the pressure you get from that go straight forward so 4-4-4. Four, four, four. I said it was a counter hit button. It's also a punish. It's great. The damage is decent. Wall splats if you're near the wall. I believe I've said that already like five times, but there you go. Good move. He also has a new 13 frame because his old one was high high, right? So what do you do if they are crouching? Down forward 4-4. Four, four. And it's confirmable. It's very good. Also a great whiff punisher, right? Down forward for an easy input. Like I said, it's confirmable. Second hit is a high, so they can duck it. But puts you in a heat. Good damage. Also wall splats. So it's good. She does it wall splat. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. So uh, yeah, he also has 14 frames. This is where the high execution can come in as well. He has 4 2 1. Or he has back 1 1 2. That used to be 15. It's now 14. More damage, uh, more range, but unfortunately, it starts off with a high. So, think of the situations. Then, he has a 15 frame hop kick, you know, regular. He also has a down for two. Down for two, one of his best moves. Anyone who has a generic safe on block down for two, is, it's always one of their best moves. The range is, it's kind of whatever, right? It's not like uh, Shaheen's. It's not like uh, Leo's down for two. Even Leo's one is unsafe. It's just for the comparison. The range ain't great. But it does the job. It definitely does the job. Doesn't launch crouches though. So be careful. But he has another option. Which I really like. Forward three. The machine gun kicks. Which also have a just range. Can I get it? I can't. Trust me. There's a just frame version. But the range on that is very good. So he has a 15 frame launch. I can't get it. A 15 frame launch from very far away. Now, let's move on to just his crouching punishment because it's quite unique. He has a 10 frame while standing move. So for those of you who are just getting into the game, while standing means you go from crouch, you release, and you press while they are standing up. So while standing free free, it leaves you minus but it is 10 frames so it is faster than other moves and as a round ender it's quite cheeky because he has two extensions either a mid and you can do the high after the mid or you can do low high fourth hit is a high every time but it's a bit of a mix-up some characters have options to get out of the mix-up so be aware of your matchups i think leo is one of these characters for example but yeah 10 frames cheeky move regular while standing four except he can go into hitman stance for more mix-ups he has a 13 frame while standing one four he can go into hitman from that if he chooses or while standing one two dash in keeping the pressure 14 frames while standing two three amazing simply amazing and 
when I get to the combo section, I'll talk more about this, but in this game, if you decide to spend heat, it's a launcher. That is a game changer for Lee. That is amazing. That I, I honestly didn't think they would give him that. That is, that is a lot. So that is pro probably your best way to use heat. Now, he doesn't have a 15 frame launch from Crouch. He has an 18 frame launch from Crouch or a hop kick. The problem is they are both up forward four. I think you have to hold up forward four for the backflip and tap for the hop kick. Sometimes it feels like it's the other way around. I still haven't quite figured out what the difference between these two is in terms of input. So a bit annoying sometimes to get the to get a punish from a low. But I mean go for this. It does more damage anyway, I guess. But if you already spend heat, then it'll become a problem. Alright, so now that I've talked about his best moves, let's talk about a bit more theory, right? How'd you get your offense started? If you're at range, like I said, it's slide FF3 will be your main uh, tools to make sure that they know your threat, even from range, right? They're going to uh, they're gonna want to get in just so you stop doing that. When they get in, that's when you start using the back fours, when they're approaching you, right? Now, I said they might sidestep a lot of these moves. So you want to use back, back four. You want to use one plus two. Like, he has decent homing moves. They are a bit slow. No, they're not, the, they're not the slowest either. But back, back four is quite fast. One plus two, but it's a mid. Puts you in homing and it's a counter launcher, right? So it has to be a bit slow. If you're going to step in you too much, that's that's your go-to. One plus two into the stance. See if you got the counter hit. Realistically, what is the thing you're doing the most with Lee? Threatening the slide. Even when you're up close. Even though it's so risky, you're threatening the slide. So it's going to be a lot of full crouch mix-ups. Do you have a mix-up on while staying 2-3? Because while staying 2-3 is unsafe on block, right? Why is he not blocking? There, 13. Not that bad, but we can do better. While sending 2-4 is a mix-up to it. It wall splats, so it's quite good. Gives you plus 13 frame advantage. But I don't think it's the kind of 13 where you can actually, you know, follow up. Yeah, there. See, that was 13. It doesn't follow up. It's a fake 13. Now, they conduct the second hit, but then they're put into a mix-up after while standing two, basically. So they're put in a mix-up just when you're crouching, and if they guess right on one, there's literally another guess on top of that. So you want to start... Like, you want to always be threatening this against turtly opponents, right? Like, if you don't know what to do and you need to make a comeback, you need to do big damage, that's where you go to. But you got to be comfortable with risky plays. Otherwise... Like I said, it's mostly a bit of pokes, a bit of stepping. Like, his movement seems quite decent. His backdash is honestly pretty good, considering there's a lot of nerfed backdashes in this game. Like, you can do 1-2 into misstep. Just keep just keep the pressure up. Just, he has a lot of pokes, right? They also sped up some of his lows and gave extensions to some of his lows. Like, he has a bunch of pokes, right? You can open up um, an opponent just very turtly. By doing things like this. The problem is these lows are usually 13 or higher, right? I think this is the only low that's safer. Even down four down four is minus 14 on hit. So you want to be careful. The thing about down four is you can transition into a magic four. And you can actually con can it confirm this. Which is decent. Or you can go for, for down 4-4, four, four, but that's minus 16 on hit. This is more of a round ender. There's also a third follow-up and a mid follow-up. Minus 20 goes into that, whatever. That's how you end rounds. Down 4 is decent. But against much more experienced opponents, they will show you the unfortunate truth that you can low parry the second low on hit. You get hit by the first one, no delay, you can low parry the second one, which is very unfortunate. It means that this low is quite risky. You can end... It, it, it's still good to end rounds with because it's so fast. 12 frame low, but don't overuse it, right? That's the point. Now, like I said, when it comes to defense, he has great movement. Again, you still want to use the counter hits. He is hard to catch, right? You can also do these uh, little dances. 
if you do this from the right range, because you're going in and out and in and out and in and out. You have this to go under highs. And on counter hit, you get all of that guaranteed. Right? Because it's... I think... How plus is it? Is it 12? 12. Yeah, so you can also do 4, 4, 4. A lot easier. And if they do happen to whiff because of your... Because you're doing this. They're scared of you coming in. And they're scared of you doing the slide. Because that's from this. You have a quite good whiff punisher by just pressing 2, 3. If you're on the forward misstep, not the back one, you have good whiff punishment. So you kind of want to dance at the right range, throw out some big buttons, and yeah, there's a, there's a, there's a lot he can do. He's quite flexible when it comes to his offense, his defense. All right, with Lee, the name of the game when it comes to combos is be creative, right? You have so many different types of cancels for whatever you feel comfortable with. And you could want to bring them to the wall before you tail spin, right? So you can squeeze out more wall damage. And Lee excels at that, right? Because he has the back two loops, which go on for very long. He has moves that send very far away, like forward two one, like the new back one two, like his, even while saying two three, they made it a tail spin, so now it doesn't send quite as far when you actually uh, do it after the tail spin. But plenty of options to send far and away. But point is, don't fix yourself on like one B and B combo. I'm gonna show you a couple options, obviously, but don't don't stay too focused on it and tr just do your best to get to the wall. And when you get to the wall, I'll show you what needs to be done. So. Off of most launchers that send up, you can do this, right? That'll be the notations. Now, like I said, mo when I say most, I do mean most, right? Now, there's a bunch of launchers that send them down, right? Back free, free counter hit, for example. It's kind of hard to pick up, but you go for back free, free. One plus two, you go for back free, free. And then you can do back two loops to, to, to keep going. FF4 sends them down. They're a bit off axis. Just trust me, you can do it. There you go, back two loops. It's it's easier to pick up with uh, one two there, but whatever. It also works on back back four as long as you don't go into Hitman. Damn. There we go. Took me a second. Now, another combo worth mentioning is back four into Hitman. You want to misstep and down two. You can also back three free. But point is, try to get to the wall. Now let's switch to a world stage to show you why that's so important. All right, now that we're at the wall, what do we do? We're gonna do down foot one, boom, boom. And that's your new ender, right? There's two ways to tail spin at the wall, basically. It's gonna be either down forward one, or three, three, four. But I think that doesn't work off axis. Or there's forward four, one, they give you a tail spin. Now, you have a, f a choice of enders. If you only did two hits, you can do this. Pretty easy. You can do the old spike into down free that's worked in previous games back four into a spike as well works but the main one is the new one hitman up four if you can get it to hit ground it which you can quite easily after a tailspin you have time to do it guarantees up back free which is 16 damage unscaled which is crazy right now, I'm going to show you what you get on a high splat. You just do four up three. Because if you get a high splat, that first hit doesn't count, right? But you want to be careful. There, I just hit the hitman up four, and it didn't hit grounded. And if it doesn't hit grounded, you do not get the up back three guaranteed. So make sure your timing is on point. There. It's not quite the same animation when they get hit. Like, so you want to be careful. 
All right, let's get back to the wall stage so I can show you the heat combos. Once in two, three heat burst. I think it's it's gonna be your uh, your go-to way to use heat. It just does so much, and it's such a buff to your 14 frame while sending punish and to your just to your mix-up, right? The, I think that's gonna be the main way to use heat. Now, if you're already in heat, I think the main ways will be just FF3 into um, into heat, right? I don't really know what's optimal after this. I've been trying to look. The trailer, sh uh, the trailer showed back back four. So, um, I mean, you can try and go for that. There, you can blaze a kick after it. Then you can do all of that. I think I could have got more back twos in there. I think that's going to be your um, your main ways. And while standing two, it, if you already spent heat burst, but you're in heat, you can do FF3 into heat dash. Yeah, yeah I could definitely have done more earlier. So, there you go. Just That's your main ways to use heat. I don't really like using uh, heat burst into uh, heat dash, but if you do, like, let's say it's gonna kill. Like, you're missing, like, 5 to 10 damage and you can't get a wall. Like, just do your regular combo, right? Do what you gotta do. You can maybe do an extra back 2 in there. FF3, FF3. Just squeeze out that extra little bit of damage you were needing in order to finish that round. I think these are going to be the main ways to, to use it. Now, if you just get a heat like that, I think that might be guaranteed. It requires more testing. Right? There was no need for that key charge. So, yeah, just extra damage on the punish. Do blazing kick. If you want uh, some good Oki, some good damage. It's good also for 444. It's the same situation. Requires a bit more testing, but seems like uh, your main one is going to be FF3. Hitman up 3 also does uh, does heat, but I mean, that's a, that's a bit slow, doesn't really track. Like, I don't find that particularly amazing, but... You can use heat on out of Hitman as well, I suppose. All right, well, to give you my final thoughts on Lee, I find him amazing. Counter hitting in this game is huge. Since everyone is trying to be more aggressive, they're opening themselves up to more counter hits, which is opening themselves to Lee's game, right? That's what he does. The combo system got changed from Tekken 7 to Tekken 8. And I feel like he was—he did not benefit from the combo system in Tekken 7. Like, he was such a good character when he came to combos back in Tekken 6 and Tekken Tag 2. It felt like the game was, like, the combo system was built for him back then. And we're getting that feeling again in uh, Tekken 8. So, great combos, loads of fun, loads of things to, uh, to work on with all the just frames and uh, the creativity in the combos and the different wall carries and all that. The punishment's great. The counter hit's great. They buffed... Like, the only thing I would say is... He has risky lows. Not bad lows. Risky lows. And that's pretty much the only thing I can fault him with. I think he's an amazing character. I do plan on maining him. I'm gonna go hard on him at least for... Like, a full month. I'm gonna have to... To play in tournaments with him. Maybe take a few L's. I don't know. We'll see. So that I can... You know... Have the full picture... But right now, he's seeming like an amazing, amazing character. You can also check out all the things shown in this video in the text version via the link in the description. And if you like this video, please leave a like or comment below with your thoughts. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.